Are you ready to die? At last. We meet face to face with destiny. I know you think of me as a foul creature, guilty of conspiring with the devil. But you are wrong. They are lying to you, just as they lied to me. I was only doing what they told me to do. They knew the risks. Do you think that dealing with life and death is a simple game? No. We needed the soldiers. There was no other option. Soldiers? You mean those monsters? And what do you mean, we? You really don't understand, do you? The war on Earth is nothing but a childish squabble compared with what will be unleashed if the demons take over the world. I admit, I was playing God, trying to create an army from the legions of the undead. An army that would protect not only the humans and their realm, but also the vampires living underground. I am their servant. And now, so are you. You're lying, old man. All I know is I have to kill you to restore peace and survive this madness. And that is exactly what I am gonna do. Go to hell! Not so fast. Ah! There is no hope for me now. But you... You still have the chance to save the vampire kind. What do I care about that? I'm gonna rot away in this hole anyway. We must continue his mission. He has failed us. Now is your time. The book closes now, but the story doesn't end. I will see you in hell. Take the artifact. I thought you said I'd be free when I kill him. Are you not free? Did we not tell you the truth? Death? What kind of freedom is that? No. You are suspended between life and death. You are not dead, but neither are you alive. This is the ideal moment for you to become the new necromancer, lord of death and destruction, the shadow warrior. You want me to become what I've just killed? We want you to become what he never was. Other great sorcerers have been killed or joined the ranks of the demons. You are our last hope of saving the vampire kind. We who have protected humans from the demon race for centuries past. We shall pass our knowledge and power to you. You will become more powerful than any being before you. If you fail us, the world will be plunged into darkness. Do you think you have a choice? There is no choice. You are our only hope. All others have failed. Why? Why should I save the vampires? It's your own doing. The undead, those creatures coming into our world. Even the necromancer himself was your creation. If you refuse to accept this, our vampire world will die, and the world of mankind will follow. You will burn in hell for eternity. It seems I don't have any alternative. You must fulfill your destiny, but your decision must be based on your own free will. What is your answer? I accept. Take this artifact. It is the attribute of each shadow warrior. With it, you will become the Necromancer. End of the line, huh? Not, Not yet. yet. You, you have, have much further to go. And now, now my, my new host, host. Show, show me what, what you are you capable, capable of. You got a big mouth for a piece of ancient junk. I can give you powers you could never imagine. Do not underestimate the might of the darkness. Just tell me how to get out of here. Your duty comes first. You must venture into realms beyond anything in the experience of mortals. No shit. And with that, welcome back to Necrovision. I am Negroth here in the vampire world, finding our first secret, vampire artifact, and being rather confused by uh, the storytelling in this game but uh, we got we got a mission to get to we got some railroad tracks here with the uh, drill cars and this is going to open up a bridge for us to get across but yeah let's see if you're worthy the door over there I see it 
Break on through to the other side, if you can. The door's too heavy. I can't smash through that. Use the glove, Simon. Use the power of the Shadow Hand. Shadow Hand? What fuels this thing? Magic? You may call it that if you wish. First, you have to gather the power. Where from? Is there a magic store where I can get a top up? The force that guides the Shadow Hand is within you. It is your rage. Rage, huh? That, I can understand. Yes. Show no fear when you face your foes, and you will be rewarded with greater power. Excellent, Master. When you send a soul to hell, you move one step closer to unleashing your true aspect. Kill enough, and you will pierce the veil of necrovision. Necro what? What are you talking about? You'll see. Yeah, we will actually not see. That whole idea of necrovision never, ever, 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 ever comes up again. And, thankfully, that's the last bit of unnecessary gravelly va voiced dialogue we'll get. Basically, what we uh, were just told is that we kill shit, and we get pissed off, and it powers up our gauntlet, our shadow hand. And uh, yeah, we can throw fireballs, which are equivalent to the rocket la or the grenade launcher. Uh, we can't hurt ourselves with it. It's pretty powerful, and it kills these uh, these rather new enemies rather easily. The barbed wire laced, super fast, uh, poorly hit detected ex soldiers, and the spider monsters that we saw. I think back in stage two but uh, yeah we were just getting another secret down there really quick and it was another uh, vampire artifact and a piece of armor but uh, yeah they decided about halfway through the game just to completely dump the whole World War one theme and make you kind of rely on your gauntlet all those World War one weapons we got we will not be using those ever again, mostly because we stopped getting bullets for them. There are no World War One soldiers down here. Well, not enough to get bullets, but uh, there are a few here and there. Just pull up this door real quick. You are much stronger than your predecessor. I can feel the burning fire of your fury, but rage alone is not enough to win this war. Not actually is. You again. And you brought along some stronger buddies this time, huh? Doesn't matter. They won't protect you. Yep, yeah, that is the wizard from the first stage, and here... Tough bastards, aren't you? Here's our first look at the steampunk parkour vampires of the game, and actually our first vampire weapon. It is a... Well, it's equivalent to a pistol and a submachine gun. And it's it's pretty powerful. You get a good stream of bullets, it's really accurate, and you get plenty of ammunition for it. This place gives me the creeps. What kind of freak show have I landed in? In a combo you'll be seeing me do a lot here is Shredder. The, uh, the Shadow Hand is very powerful and very... I don't want to end up like them. I have to keep moving. Uh, it's uh, it's very easy to uh, just quickly kill these base infantry with. Especially, you can kill probably about one or two and get a free fireball to lob at the next one. But yeah, this, uh, this place seems pretty tore up. I'm not sure if this was the actual architecture beforehand of the vampire world or why there's a vampire world six miles under France but yeah, it's here better not head that way and that red mist that you're seeing is actually the after effects of the vampire grenades it doesn't do any actual damage it just obstructs your view and up oh, it's our old large friend back for more meathead I'll serve you up like beef on a platter. Beef on a platter. Those 
snappy one-liners. But yeah, uh, with the combination of fireballs and a good steady stream of uh, vampiric submachine gun bullets, uh, this guy really is just a massive joke. And he shits out a good deal of red orbs, so even if we did take damage, we could easily heal ourselves back up to full. And uh, yeah, these uh, these hoppy, jumpy vampires are going to be the replacement for our kind of mindless uh, World War One crowds. What's wrong? You don't want to welcome me? Yeah, I don't think they really want to welcome me after I dismember them and lob fireballs at them. I think I'm supposed to be saving them, but it's really vague. Maybe... I, I'm not sure if these are what vampires normally look like, or if they've been brainwashed, or... what, but... Yeah, they're, the world is kind of dark and shitty, and... they're kind of assholes, and... I'm sure it's only complimented by the fact that I'm a huge asshole. We got the recurring ghost here. How long are these poor crowds gonna stay dead? This, this place, place is under demonic rule now. They will try to oppose you at every turn. You reckon so? I reckon so. <laughs> yeah, these uh, these ghosts are pretty much a joke now. They're more of an annoyance just because you can't really tell how much damage you're doing to them, and high explosives like the the fireball really don't seem to hurt them as much as just filling them full of bullets. But yeah, we got some uh, some old-fashioned zombies here, and they're even more of a joke. Just a quick two melee hit combo, and they are fucking dead. Really want to get rid of these ghosts, though, but yeah, my aim kind of is shit with the fireball sometimes. We'll actually be getting new spells for the shadow hand soon enough. So that we're not just stuck with fireballs that will hurt us. And I, we don't, we don't actually have to kill these zombies down here. I'm just doing it more to work up a, some, uh, some combo points. Yep, yeah, uh, we got some additional ammo over here. I think I've wasted enough time trying to kill the ghost. But we have a secret uh, that's right up these broken pillars here, which is the next vampire weapon. Which is a flamethrower. Mine now. Flamethrower is not bad per se. It's just not good. It's it's all right for doing one combo, which is the hellbound combo of lighting someone on fire and then kicking them. It's it's pretty quick, but you don't get a lot of ammo early on for the flamethrower, and it doesn't cause a lot of direct damage. So it's kind of annoying. You can't hide from me. So here we are in the Vampires You Store It, where they keep all their boxes and spare dead bodies. And I just wanted to show off a bit of the flamethrower here. It's, uh, it's also not the best weapon because you end up hurting yourself with the flame that stays behind, so... It's better just to use the much more plentiful uh, submachine gun. And we're still seeing a lot of these, uh, these really annoying, uh, barbed wire zombies. I don't know if any of these enemies actually have real concrete names or not. Finding much information on this game is kind of annoying, as, uh, it wasn't really that popular. But, we have, uh, we have another meathead, which I think is supposed to be like a troll or something. It's... Like, one of, one of the larger enemies is called, like, a vampire god, and another one is called, like, a troll. And, uh, yeah, that's me getting confused with switching weapons. For some reason, the, uh, the vampire weapons are normally keyed to three, and the, uh, the shadow hand is switched with, uh, I think a one? It's either one or nine, it's... Something that doesn't make sense. But enough with numbers, we got uh, some more people to kill, some vases to destroy, and ghosts to be annoyed.